was after flesh, I guess I was some type of zombie. Demons used to harm me. Then I heard a voice of God, I'm grateful Jesus called me. I was like a zombie till I was awakened. Chasing all the Barbies, trying to get the bacon. Pull up in a new toy, feeling like a robot. Always acting brazy, but my heart felt like a true toy. I was like a zombie, 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 zombie. I was like a zombie. Good morning! It's time for Detroit Kids. Welcome back to another week of Detroit Kids Online. Are you guys excited? I hope you're excited because I'm so excited to spend some of my Sunday with you. Detroit Kids is always the highlight of my week. So how did it go practicing patience this week? How did you guys practice patience this week? You know what? Go ahead and ask your parents to drop your answers in the chat. Miss Alicia would love to read them. So Miss Alicia practiced patience while working this week and just being patient with the people that I help at work. Okay guys, it's worship time. Don't you guys love worshiping Jesus with me? I'm so excited about worship. And today we have a special guest that's gonna join us with worship. And she's also gonna help me with my knock knock joke that I know you guys wanna hear. Our special guest name is Kaylin. Welcome to Detroit Kids Online, Kaylin. Are you ready to worship with us? Yeah. Okay, I'm so excited about worship. But before worship, I always give Detroit Kids a little knock knock joke. Can you help me with that? Yes. Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Double. Double who? Double you! <laughs> that is so funny! Okay, guys, we'll see you right back here after worship. Three, two, one. Awesome. 
Oh my goodness, worship was so amazing. Did you enjoy worship, Kayla? Yeah! Oh, I enjoyed worship too. So in Detroit Kids, we've been learning about patience the last few weeks. So Kayla, what do you think about patience? You got you gotta let people be patient and sit down and wait until their turn comes. That is so true. We have to wait. And sometimes in school we have to wait until it's our turn. Or we can raise our hand. Absolutely. And maybe it could be your turn sooner if you raise your hand. But do not, do not talk over people. Absolutely. That's some good pointers. Do you think being patient is hard? Just a little. Just a little bit? What kind of things do you do to practice being patient? Just watch my TV. So you do things to keep you busy, right? Yeah. That's a good way to practice being patient. Okay, Kaylin. Thank you so much for joining us at Detroit Kids today. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Kaylin amazing? I just love having her here. If any of you guys want to be a guest star on your trick kids, just let me know. We will love to have you. Okay guys, so we've been learning about patience. Can you tell me what you've learned about patience so far? Wow, that's amazing. I love that you guys are learning so much about patience. Well, Miss Alicia's learned that being patient isn't always easy, but God will be right with us anytime we have to be patient, and I love that. So since we've been learning about patience this month, we also have learned a new memory verse. Have you guys been practicing it? Okay, let's say it together. Our memory verse comes from Psalms 27 and 14. It says, wait on the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait on the Lord. All month long, we're practicing waiting on the Lord, being patient, and trusting God while we wait. Okay guys, you have your Bibles, right? Today's lesson comes from Genesis 25, 24 to 34. It's a story about two brothers, one named Esau and one named Jacob. Esau was the older brother. Esau was a strong and mighty hunter, and Jacob was a little bit more on the gentle side. One day, Esau went out for a day of hunting. That made him so hungry and tired. But Jacob made a large bowl of stew. When Esau got home, he asked his brother for some stew. He asked think he gave him some. Well, and visually he did. But he gave him some in exchange for his birthright. Now, birthright is just an inheritance which he would have gotten a lot of nice things, a lot of money. So Jacob wanted to exchange it and give him a bowl of stew. Do you guys think that Esau was being patient? No, he wasn't being patient. And he was thinking, hmm. he wasn't thinking clearly because he was so hungry and tired. So he agreed with his brother for that exchange. What do you guys think would have happened if Esau had been patient and not sold his brother his birthright? Well, Miss Alicia thinks if Esau would have been patient, he would still have his birthright. It is important for us to remember to be patient and to wait on God when it doesn't feel good or we may not even want to. I am so excited that we are continuing to learn about patience and I know that by the end of the month, we are all going to be so much more patient than we were before, right? Okay, guys, as always, our Sunday together was so amazing, but it always ends so quick. But before we leave, can we pray together? Okay, bow your head and close your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for all my friends here at Detroit Kids. Thank you for the story that we learned together about Esau and Jacob. We thank you that you are teaching us how to be patient and that you are with us while we're being patient. We love you so much. In your son Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Okay guys, today was so wonderful and I cannot wait to see you guys again next Sunday at 9.45. Until then, make sure you're practicing your patience. Bye!